You wouldn't believe this. I got these socks like 10 wears ago. My wife got them for me. There's already a hole right in front. Well, you're not here for my personal struggles and problems. You are here to see this beautiful property at 3919 Hoyn. We bought this about a year ago and it's a beautiful story, just about as beautiful as the home. The buyers came in relatively soon and were able to customize this and make it a semi-custom home. This is 30 feet wide, over 100 years old, original gray stone facade, bench in the front, every iconic element to make this an idyllic home on this block. We are in North Center, but we're still in Bell School District. We're kind of tying together all the things that people want. We're able to build this beautiful property all the way around. You can feel the width right here. Now they have a lot of their personal things that were delivered a little early, but look at this extra width that you're getting with the bay. We are basically touching this other home, but it feels really nice and large in this area. Now, as we walk through, you have a powder room right on this side, great storage right here, storage under there over the stairs, and you come right in to this beautiful, go over there, to this beautiful kitchen. Now we have the center facing island, you often see them this way, kind of facing the sitting area over here. This is gonna be finished with some custom cushions. I'm gonna sit here, have a nice, thin, narrow, oval-style table here. But I love the front-facing vanity. This is quartzite, super thick, extra thick. This is gonna have an arch coming all the way around it, so you're not gonna see the hood. It's gonna encompass all of this, closing it off a little bit, not showing you everything you need to see. You don't need to see all this. And then you have the shelves right on the side to put your things, of course, pot filler. So this is the Studio McGee set. I also love this sink right here. This is all Kohler, Studio McGee. And then we have the panel that we're waiting for because we're waiting for the hardware. But of course, this is Sub-Zero. Of course, the drawer microwave, everything that you want here. And we're still waiting for some final things like the front of this fireplace. But the fireplace over there absolutely beautiful, completely cast limestone all the way around. These are white oak cabinets from Builder's Cabinets right here in Chicago. And this property didn't have a formal dining room, excuse me, formal mud room. So instead, we built this bench out, put these cabinets on the side, created an area so you have a place to sit, put your shoes on, put your coats away, do what you need to do here. Now, do you wanna go up or do you wanna go down? Let's go up, come on. That's that cast fireplace I was talking about right there. This is four bedrooms up, three baths up. This is the floor plan everyone wants. We're gonna close at 2.2 million. We have this listed for 2.3, and then there's money on top that they did for upgrades. We're probably closer to 2.3 at the end of the day. But we're gonna go all the way back to the primary here, and right as you enter the primary, you get into the primary bath. Now, what I love about this, it looks great. You have polished nickel throughout, great finishes, but the coolest thing that we're doing here that we've never done anywhere else, you have these jets right here. Your shower, so no mold, no mildew, no residue creates on the glass or the tile or any of the areas here. You have your bench, you have your steam, and then you have this that's gonna suck all the air out to dry it out. This is a great upgrade. Notice the eight foot doors, all the Lincoln style door, of course, the private commode. Now, one thing we did here is we added an outlet because, of course, you want the Japanese toilet. You want your bidet. Very easy thing to do in the planning process, but hard to do later. Look at our mirrors. We have one up right now. We're still in the process. This is the closing day. We have these great tilting mirrors. Bring them to any way you want with the nice sconces in between, really setting things off. Now, come through here. So we have kind of two closets here. There's some things in them now, but we have kind of the his closet, right? That's how we always do it. And then you have her closet right here. We also have a window in the closet. So we have another property nearby. We took out the window because these particular buyers did not like them and the feedback wasn't positive. But let me know in the comments what you think about a window in your closet. I think it's so cool. It also gives you a great look of your backyard. You could be dressing, seeing people out there. Kind of a nice feature. And your eye line with your deck What's awesome about this deck, well, I'll show you at the end, but this is a very unique feature. So as we come through, notice how big the windows are. I'm a big fan of this. I made sure this happened in this home. You want nice, basically floor to ceiling windows where you can have them, but also a great place for your bed here. They're actually gonna put their bed right here. So we are facing east right now. They're gonna get the morning light. 
great space for their bed, but you could also put it right here if you wanted, and then your nightstands would basically back up to these windows. I love the texture on this fan. You, I don't know if you can see it in there, but you can actually see the wood grain coming through and the texture of the natural wood. Of course, heated floors in here. Let me bring up another element. So I absolutely love these. It gets down to the small details, but these robe hooks are absolutely fantastic. You can fit four things here on each side. Again, this is the Studio McGee set. I love having it in the corner. Do you? Let me know in the comments. Do you like it in the corner? Do you like it wall mounted? Do you like a space up here for your products? Tell me more about what you want. And these white oak cabinets came out beautifully. A little darker stain, working with the gray we have on the Carrera herringbone. Of course we have a sink up here, full washer and dryer stack. You can see the steam unit hiding right there as well. As we come through to our first real bedroom, we're walking in, and again, there's no lights in here, so it's a little dim. The sun's going down, but we haven't installed the lights into this space yet. But you have your Jack and Jill bath, dual sinks with the toilet and the sink, and the toilet and the shower onto itself. You'll notice we have a Zellage style tile going around almost everywhere, different feels. These, this tile is from Bedrosian, which is a great source for tiles. So we come through here, back into this bedroom. They did a nice red accent wall here, and then the crown also carries through here, which you saw downstairs too. And then you have this awesome front bedroom. This is where I would have my office, but I just love this bathroom window. Look at this. Now, cleaner, whiter marble on this floor. Goes right into the shower, so you're not seeing a different style of tile in here. And again, we're working with the Zellage tile all the way up. Notice that we did the thin shaker, the skinny shaker, everywhere throughout this property. And we have a mixture of materials. We have chrome, we have brass, we have lots of different things going on in different spaces. Now, before I show you that deck, let me show you the lower level. So we still have some building materials all over the place. We have the antique mirror behind, these cool hardware that goes up and down right? So you can actually grab it and pull it. I love this faucet. Turn it up from the top. Nice strong water pressure, of course. Now, if you're looking at a lot of homes or you see a lot of homes that are finished, you'll notice this room is a little smaller than normal. I think it's the perfect size. I think these rooms are usually too big. Perfect TV wall. Sofa right here, seeing who's coming and going. But you could have a TV wall right there to it. As you can see, it's currently set up, but it's set up for both. And then you have the nice windows going through. You notice upstairs where I was sitting, where we started, how thick the walls are. Look at this, this is my entire wall, my entire arm here. Now, not only is this the three courses of brick plus the exterior, but it was reinforced with cinder block to make sure that this home was as solid as can be. And then you have all the storage underneath the stairs here. This is where your luggage goes. All the stuff you don't know what to do with is all gonna sit here, as well as this is your home run for the entire property. Now, I mentioned how this room is a little further up. What that allowed us to do is this. So, our powder room, vanity, this is for your guests. This won't be here until July, but look at this. I mean, who doesn't want a sauna in their home? This is so well built. The smell is overpowering. It's exciting. I wanna turn this on. I wanna use the sauna. I can't do that, unfortunately. But what a great space and it all ties in, it all comes together. Notice you have the tinted glass here. I mean, it is, it just looks so sexy. This is what you want. So as we go through, where we picked up extra space was in this room. So a lot of people use this as a gym, a lot of people use this as a kid's room, but now you have some real space in here to use the room the way you want it and have the usable space that you normally wouldn't have. You're usually in the front with it. You just have this big awkward room. Now you get a workout room right here, easy to use. And then of course, we have one more full bath down here. Now, we are about 4,700 square feet on this home and you can feel every single inch of it. So we have some seniors that are gonna be living here, maybe visiting from time to time. Knowing that, we had the foresight to add the support bars. You can see the same Zellage tile that was upstairs and then the same color, nice sage that we had on the center island. Now, let me show you that deck. 
what we didn't talk about were these floors. So this is a pre-finished oak from Peraza. Beautiful floors made here in Chicago, but the company is based here in Chicago, right on Halstead. Owner's a great guy. If you are looking for pre-finished floors, this is one of the best options you're ever gonna come across. I highly recommend these. Let's go look at that deck. Okay, shoes are on. Notice that this building was extended and this is all original Chicago common brick. It wraps all the way around. You have a nice terrace off your rear. There's an inlet right where Adam is for the grill. So we push this out a little bit, gave you a nice place to have your grill here. And then you have a gas powered fireplace. And if this wasn't enough, the deck continues up here, giving you a second outdoor living space with another fireplace to use. Cause why not? We're building this, no big deal. Add the second chimney right here. Thank you for watching. I want to show you this and every property in Chicago. Thank you.